Welcome to Mediogre Gaming, and today we're playing Need for Speed Payback. So Speed Cross just came out, and I found out where the Speed X dealer is on the map. So I went there to see what cars would be available, and what I could buy. Well, when I got to the dealership, to my surprise, every single car was locked even the derelict cars which i had already put together the only way to unlock it is to finish the speed cross series at what point in the speed cross series does it unlock or does it only unlock once you finish all of it either way i don't like it it should be at least progressively available as you do races. Maybe do one car or two cars every race, every three races, something so that you feel like you're progressing and not just filling up a bar at the bottom of a screen saying, oh, you unlock this, now you can do the next race. Once you get to the end, you're done. Why would I go back and get another car and do the speed cross again. If I had a, a whole lot of fun, maybe I'd do one or two cars. Um, you know, if it's just an average experience and I haven't gotten through the whole thing, so I can't say one way or the other. It seems like a nice idea, but some of the setups in the later levels look like they could be a little bit tricky and more of a challenge. So if you want a challenge, you could probably do that. If you want to have fun, maybe not so much. But anyway, I found this to be a little bit of a kick in the pants, to say the least, that everything's locked up. Even things that you had to work to unlock are locked. You can't take a derelict car at rank zero and go into the speed cross, or rank one and go into the speed cross stock. You know, you can't go to the parts store and upgrade it to 100 so that you stand a chance. No, you have to wait until you finish a certain point in the Speed Cross series before you can buy any Speed Cross cars. So, I wanted you guys to know. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time.